Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Young here with Luke Manderfeld at Jack Trice Stadium where we just watched Iowa State lose to Baylor 45-42. to They had a 14 point lead going into the fourth quarter but couldn't hold on as Baylor dropped 17 straight points and kicked a 19 yard field goal to win the game at the very end. Luke, what'd you see? I saw Iowa State overperforming what we expected them to. Definitely. Uh, 465 yards of total offense today. Joel Lanning was on point. Mike Warren looked good. Um, I think no one really saw them competing with Baylor this well. I mean, they had the lead for the whole game. You, I mean, except for the final score, Baylor led there. So, um, yeah, overperformance by Iowa State. No one saw that, but I mean, they had a great day. One thing they really struggled to do was to slow Baylor down, especially on the ground. Baylor had 647 total yards on the day, 469 of which came on the ground. And Shock Linwood, their running back, had 238 yards and a touchdown. And Iowa State just couldn't seem to stop them on the ground, especially late in the game. Yeah, I think that's something they're gonna, they're really going to have to work on. Um, it's kind of been a, I mean, not a big problem, but it was really exploited this weekend by Baylor. Um, really, both teams rushed well today, so um, a lot of good rushing offense today. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of positives to take away, except for the rushing defense, really the only knock. Yeah, so that's it for us here. You can make sure to check back with the Iowa State daily as the week goes on to keep updated with our content. And we will have more for you going into the Oklahoma State game next weekend. So for Luke Manderfeld, I'm Ryan Young here at Jack Trice Stadium. We'll see you next time.